Hey YouTube, it's been a long time, but um, Shadows be here, and it's been requested by tons of people that I make this. And it's a tutorial video, and I know most of you are thinking it's how to get thinner in 2003. Yeah, not quite. It's how to make tracks on the sandbox, and I'm going to try to teach everyone how to do that again. A mistake on my other one. I was trying to record it in parts rather than do it all at once and separate parts from there. So I kind of got lost where I was and I noticed I made a few mistakes in the other one. Trying to go back and correct them would just be too much of a headache. So I'm just going to start from fresh and hopefully this time I can be a little bit more clear on how to do things. I've learned quite a bit since the last time I made a video. So hopefully this will turn a little bit better than last time. Uh, for those who are wondering when the 2003 video will be up for how to get it, uh, I'm not entirely sure when I'll get around to making it. I've wanted to make this video for like a month, month and a half, and this is the first day I've actually had enough time to actually record it. It actually been quite a couple of days ago, but I you know, called it to work and, you know, life takes over. But uh, let's see if I can actually get this all done today. Um, so pretty much this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your own track completely from scratch. You know, pretty much all from scratch. You're going to have to take a couple things from a couple other tracks, which most people do anyways. But, you know, the whole design of the track and everything's going to be completely up to you. You can, you can do whatever you want to it. Um, I've also made a website where I'm going to keep all the tracks that I've made and or have edited. I'll give you a link to that. And also in that website we'll have the track that I'm making now, so if you'd like to try it out the track, see how things work and stuff, and if you want to try to make an identical track that I'm making, you can see if your tracks, you know, what's different with your track, try to improve upon it and whatnot. So all that stuff will be provided this video, and hopefully everyone can be making tracks after this, and you can teach me a thing or two, because I've been doing this for like five years, six years, I've been doing this before I even had 2003, before I didn't, I didn't have 2003, I had no clue what I was doing, I made absolutely no progress, so I'm still learning a lot, I've really only been making tracks for two and a half years. Uh, I guess that's enough babbling. Start showing what you need. Okay, so the first thing that you will need is Sandbox and WinMip. Those are the two main things that you'll need. Uh, WinMip, which is right here, you can just click download, download it. That allows you to get MIPS and stuff, which is pretty much images. You get 3DOs and all that stuff. I don't really mess with 3DOs or anything like that, but. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much. You need that to get all your stuff. You know, if you already have all the stuff for some reason, I'm not sure how you would actually get all of it without using WinMip. But, uh, you don't need it, but I suggest everyone get it because I'm going to show you how to use it to get the stuff. And the second thing you will need is Sandbox, which is what you will use to pretty much make your track. It's the program you use to make the track with. So, yeah, that's kind of important. So once you download those, they'll be in the downloads folder. Or at least it is for me, it's like 7. Wherever you download it to, it's where it's going to be, and you will get the sandbox setup thing and the WinMip. If you have WinRAR, which I hope you do, you just unpack this. I think the zip file too, so. Anyways, extract it. It's going to take a long time to use craps, but... So yeah, you just extract that. The main thing you're going to have is your... ...to EXE. And then, go to the sandbox, and I hope you know what to do with the EXE file. And, you know, just run it, click next, and make sure your directories are right. Pretty much anyone who's done it on a computer and installed it. So once those are all installed and everything, 
time to finally start making our track. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to find a track that has images and stuff that you want to use. So walls that you want to use, you know, the kind of pavement you're going to want to use, the kind of grass you're going to want to use, kind of, you know, all that kind of stuff. You can combine multiple tracks and I can show you how to do that in a bit, but for now, I'm just going to kind of show you what to do. So I'm going to use an Atlanta. So you go to wherever your directory for Android 2003 is. Of course, it's just the default C drive, Papyrus 2003. Then you're going to want to go to your tracks folder. Take a couple seconds to look up here. And you have all your tracks. Yes, I have tons of tracks because a lot of them I've edited and whatnot. I think they need because I got an update. Job at it. I'm going to use the in game Atlanta. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to go right click, right click, it's going to copy, paste. That's going to make an Atlanta copy. I just want to make sure I get to move this one before I think I did. Yeah, okay, okay. I did. So, I want this to have a This is whatever your track is going to be called, or you know, short version, whatever, whatever you're going to have the track being released. You have a few things going on, you have a few things going on, that kind of stuff. So, for me, I'm just going to be this one. So that's where our track is going to be. So I'm going to go into here. First thing I want to do, because this is what I'm kind of messing up, or at least I'm going to try to figure out how to get the to go in and delete any LP files. So if you haven't, if it just seems a little weird one time, it's because I just need to watch a bed because I can't track this character. So anyways, I'm going to edit it in So I click copy, paste, and rename it to whatever we want to call our track and stuff. So for this one I'm going to use U2. Type so I apologize. And that's where our name of our track's gonna be. Now for these purposes and stuff, what I always do because I generally like to misspell things. Copy. I can't see what this one. Copy. Now we're gonna go into our track. So, in K. so 
what you want to do here is you want to find everything that was named whatever your track was. So ours was Atlanta, so anything that has Atlanta dot whatever, we need to change that to whatever our track name is going to be. And I believe the only things that you need to change right now is the dot cam. So I'm just going to go to this and as you can see, paste. And see, this is much easier than actually going and typing out and risking not naming it correctly. So there we go. So we name our dat file, which I don't know if it comes up to dot dat on your end or not, but then not mine. So it says YouTube, and then we have the was a land dot cam, we changed it to YouTube dot cam, and this is so that thing it can read the correct track and stuff. So when you open up the game, it goes okay. Whatever track you're trying to open up, so say we're looking for YouTube, it goes to YouTube, and then it's going to look for the cam file, which is all the camera files and stuff. It's going to look for the same thing as your folder name, which is YouTube. If it's not named YouTube, it can't find that folder and say, I can't read this track, I don't know the camera where. And same with the DAT file. So think of this as a folder kind of thing, a compressed folder, so it's not huge. I can't show you what the difference is then. But after that, it looks for all your images and all that stuff. You can look in your YouTube folder, which is your DAT file, which is what we have here. And if it's not named correctly, it can't find it, therefore it can't load anything on the track, and it will go all crazy. And if I can't find it, it will get all frustrated. So the next thing you want to get rid of is, or change or whatnot, is the LP files. So, that will be the LIMP. Delete that. That's panic. Yeah, it's going to be kind of slow because I'm recording on fraps and everything is always slow when you record on fraps. So I'm just going to slowly go through all these so you can kind of see what the names are. Now, I never did that step until about a year ago, and it wasn't until a year ago I could actually start figuring out how to get on the track and stuff, but the reason I couldn't get on the track is because those LP lines and stuff is pretty much the lines in which things follow. So, like the race line and all that stuff, that is like the line, the race line and stuff, that's where the CPUs will go, the max pack. I think is, like if there's a wreck or something, like the farthest it will go out of its way to avoid the wreck. So like right to the outside wall, right to the inside wall, and just the maximum in. The farthest outside of the CPU will go, the farthest inside it will go. You know, for now, for, you know, for it's, you know, it has another line for where its average line will be, so where the CPUs will try to end up most of the time and stuff. And it's all those kind of information things, and if your configuration is different, so say those are all set for Atlanta, if you change your Atlanta track at all, so instead of, you eliminate the trials, or you just have you know, two straight straightaways, then the, those LP files will still be trying to go in the trial, and nothing will exist there, and then the game can't read it and stuff, and that's all spastastic, and you can't read this anymore. So that's why you have to eliminate those. Now it's just going to follow one LP line, which is in the track, which is what we're going to edit next. So to do that, we need to get our windmill. Now, I don't exactly know where I keep my windmill and stuff, or I'm too lazy to do it, so I just always search for it. It did take a while because I'm going on fraps. The one that's up by now is right at the top. And it's windmill. So when you open up like this, you'll have a file, that's what I said, it's about... First, you just want to go unpack, and erase the phone. Okay, go to your directory, so C drive, Pyrus, 2003, tracks, YouTube, 